The chairman of the Legal Affairs Committee, Gishuki Karioki, accuses the county government of unilaterally using public resources to institute an injustice to vulnerable children that is supposed to provide sanctuary for the spirit of rehabilitation. Some of them have not been to school. And the moment you round up children and dump them in a forest, a forest that is very dangerous to their own survival, then you cease to be human. The two committees visited John Mututho Empowerment Center Wednesday, where some of the rescued children are under rehabilitation, seeking to hear from the children on what transpired during the crackdown that sparked weeks of outrage in Nakuru. It is reported officials from the county government of Nakuru using county government vehicles rounded up more than 41 street children at night, drove them to Chemususu Forest in the neighboring Baringo County and abandoned them there without food or water. A member of the Labor Committee, Stanley Karanja, says the joint inquiry is investigating criminal liability in the operation and individuals that sanctioned and executed the ill-advised operation will be prosecuted. Who really is this person who did not behave like a parent, who behaved like the times the 18th century or during the time of uh, slave trade and did carry the children and, uh, and took them to a forest? JOMEC Director John Motudo called on the Directorate of Criminal Investigations in the county to work alongside the committees to help find the missing children. Whoever who took them there did not make a accommodation arrangement, did, make, did not make a uh, com uh, feeding arrangement inside the forest, and five of them have never been found. They're still missing. They could be dead, they could be somewhere. The two committees have been investigating the matter for two months now and are expected to turn in their report in three weeks for action.